like we've got a boom or bust mentality when it comes to third party and official masterpiece releases. It's either a boom or a bust like the first six months of this year for new releases was a bust. The first half of this year was re-releases, reissues mostly. We did get a handful of new releases. But the second half of this year is cram jam full of new releases with a couple of reissues. But we're going to get into talking all this as soon as you press that like button. And if you're new to the channel, you're listening to the Tigerium Hangar. This is Mike. I'm your host through all vintage to modern Star Wars, Transformers, video games, and other great things. So let's get right into this. Every year we seem to have the same hiccups. Chinese New Year puts a big damper on it early in the year. A lot of companies like, like this, this year we had Zeta pushing out those last few releases right before Chinese New Year, but it still held up shipping. There were some issues. Issues with that, but when you look at this, once that settles down, we start to see product flow. We happen to see a couple of great new things issued. We saw Road King come out, and that was great. We saw a couple of other great releases. But the boom begins in July. We have probably the heaviest release schedule for new figures, new characters, but new takes on old characters, I guess you could say. So looking at X Transbots finally going to put their Neptune, their Sea Spray out. That has been up for pre-order for well over a year. And that's gonna be the best. We know that it looks great, and we know it looks good in all modes, and they've got great new promo picks. July is the month for that thing, theoretically, to come out, and I wanna see that. And I've been waiting for it. Even though I have every other Sea Spray option offering so far, I wanna see how that one stacks up. Also, we're gonna see Fans Toy Silver Bolt, Maverick, and and it's really weird how they're putting both of the leaders out first. I would have thought they would have at least given us one Limbot by the time we see Silver Bolt. But they haven't yet, and that's not the plan. So we're going to take it in stride. But, but Rogue King sold out everywhere. Like, maybe there's one or two places I haven't checked that still has them in stock at full price. But especially the places that sell a little bit cheaper, they're all sold out. So Silver Bolt's probably going to sell through pretty fast. We're gonna get the wrap up Giga Power with Super Raider. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. But we're finally gonna get Grimlock, and then if you're working on a Giga Power set, you could get that Giga Power set done, complete, and make it happen. That's supposed to happen in July also. Make Toys is gonna put out their beautiful Conehead Seekers. Now, I gotta, whether or not we discuss who makes the best looking Coneheads or the best looking Seekers. I think Make Toys right now is leading the way with their Seekers. And those are going to look good. They're going to look great. And they're coming out. Uh, I think there's uh, end game supposed to be Dirge and Booster supposed to be Ramjet, if I've got that right. And they're supposed to both hit in July, which would be great. Also, we have we have some other things that are getting released, like Toy, Toy World's coming out with a uh, Green Hornet, which is kind of a movie-based figure. And... Let's look at August. So in August, we're supposed to get the Fans Toys Jabber. So Jabber's their take on Blur, and Blur is, it's going to be a good looking Blur, but that's due in August, and I really hope to see it arrive on time. Also in August, we're supposed to be getting the reissue of the SOC Voltron, uh, the Lion one, which is another, uh, yes, it's a reissue, and really this list isn't supposed to be talking about reissues, but the thing is so high in demand that it sells out in less than 10 minutes <laughs> so that's uh that's a big deal and also now it's supposed to be the very end of august but we're not gonna no one's gonna see it until september and that's the notorious mp44 so let's kind of get into september releases mp44 and we're supposed to be getting uh, bumblebee that month also actually late in the month so earlier in the month we'll get the MP44, and then we get the Bumblebee version 2, and that's coming out. We'll also get the third Make Toys Conehead, uh, the Jetstream or Thrust, and and you'll rock out that set in no time, as long as they all hit this release schedule. And then you've got Fans Toys Spoiler, which is a breakdown, and so in September we'll see maybe some of this mystery on, on how it goes together, what parts get included, uh, would be great. 
Uh, I'm really looking forward to finding that out. But the first Limbot we get to their Minosaur. And that makes for a pretty decent September. Now moving into October, we've got KFC's uh, Power Master Prime. And, and that thing is big, and it looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. There's also other things uh, supporting it that could go with it, but uh, there's like three of them total. Bit of a mystery to me still. Th that stuff's going to be pretty high priced, but it's also going to be so big it might be worth it. November gives us a Blue Lobster in their Frank, which is a, a different kind of figure, and it doesn't transform, I don't think. So, no, it doesn't. And it's the right price point. It's $44.99 on TF Source. So, I think I might pick that up just to have it. Just to check it out. And I bet you that thing sells out. Or, then again, if it goes on clearance for $20, I might get a second. And I expect that sometime November, although there's no announcement, there's no information, I do expect x bots to finally put their Motor Master out. Because all the other bots are out. Let's, let's get this Motor Master. Let's get this done. Let's get this thing built. And, and let's be number one, x bots. Lastly, we're going to have a pretty hefty December. We know for sure Takara is going to deliver us the Hound at a hefty price tag. The last time they promised us a figure in December, none of us got it until January. It was ended up being like an early January release. But you know what? That's I could I could live with a couple weeks behind. It's a lot better than two years later, and we still don't have what's promised to us. So uh, yes, Takara does charge a lot, but they usually can hit those dates really close to those dates uh, they have the channel power to do that next I these are dates that are put in there but I think they're they're just subsequent dates that uh, get listed just to have a date in there but December says X transbots gonna put their virtuous out that means I only had to wait a year and a month after paying for Springer to get it but it will be the best Springer it'll be worth the wait um, also, we have Fans Toys with their Blitzwing and their Outrider. It's listed for December. I still don't think we'll actually get it. But if we do, wouldn't it be so nice? And then Zeta Predaking. Like, we don't have a release date on either of the Predacons. But I would expect sometime by the end of the year to get one. To get something out of that. Now, this list does not include all the Beast Wars figures that are coming out. Both official and not official. This list does not include all the IDW kind of stuff that's coming out. Because I could be here all day putting another 30 figures on this list. I... But with that, that comes the other issue. The financial issue. The wallet draining issue. With the second half of the year, all this stuff draining out of your wallet. Plus we have Christmas uh, season that we got to buy all this stuff for. And depending on your situation, property taxes coming due and all that stuff. It really kind of sucks. It would have been nice to have these spread out a little bit more. And I also didn't include there's a whole lot of other wave of reissues coming out. Like we have the MMC, MMC Sphinx coming out with a Toon Deco, which it's great. And we, we have a whole lot of other reissues. Uh, Ravage, the MMC is actually putting out their uh, Jaguar Ravage again. So all that's peppered in, coming for an expensive second half of the year. And also, the majority of what we're looking at that's coming out in the second half of the year are figures we already have on the shelf. So there's a ton of figures coming out, but they're really all replacement items. Jabber's a replacement item for a Unique Toys, unless you just don't get it and stick with your Unique Toys. Or you get it and decide, I like Unique Toys better. You've got the majority of this on this list are things that we already have that we actually could almost just live without. Some of them are upgrades, some of them are substantial upgrades, some of them are just tiny upgrades. I also want to talk about spreading it out throughout the year a little bit more. Now I want to say... The Siege line seems like they have trickled in. Few figures come every month. It just seems like the Siege line, the mainline Hasbro stuff, has actually been doing a whole lot better. In fact, I don't know what's going on, but the, the Siege line and the Transformer division of Hasbro is, is giving a constant flow of product. The Star Wars is just, the, it's a disgrace that you, you've got the same figures that have been on there since the Solo movie has released. You know how long that's been? Almost a year. And you're still looking at the same figures on the shelf. With Star Wars, it's dead, it seems to be. With the Transformers mainline, it's constant new figures. I just got a Springer the other day. And I got a couple of those refractors, the reflectors. And, and I think that's really a good thing to see 
the line getting continual product. So I got a couple of questions for you guys. What characters do you look forward to the most in the second half of this year? I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Even if it's one that you already have. Hey, I'm really looking forward to Fans Toys Jabber, even though I got Unique Toys. Or I skipped Unique Toys because I knew Unique Toy with Jabber was coming. Also, if it's not on this list, what else are you looking forward to? What are you, what are you looking forward to through the rest of this year? If I didn't list it, I still want to hear what you're looking forward to. Makes it a whole lot of fun. Great topics for discussion. Please like, subscribe the video, comment down below. Tiberium Hanger out. Okay, so I'm kind of curious what you guys think. If in 1995, when they revived Star Wars with the Power of the Force 2, if they came out with the retro collection then, do you think that Star Wars would even be a collectible now? Do you think people would even care? if they did that back then, because I don't. I think Star Wars collecting would not have taken off like it did if they just rehashed the same figures from 1978 uh, well, to 85, and they did that again in 1995. All the people who were collecting wanted the 1980s and early, late 70s figures, but if they got those, they wouldn't have been as deep into collecting. I believe this. Now with this new retro collection line, it's actually even hard to get. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Maybe they're doing it right. Maybe they're creating false scarcity. Who knows? But I truly believe that the retro collection, if released in 1995, would have killed it. And I'm thinking about doing a whole video on that. What do you guys think? I've never hang around.